One muffin says to the other muffin, hey, it's getting kind of hot in here. The other muffin says, whoa, a talking muffin. Jessica, you pulled off a hugely successful event at the Stress Factory last night. What do you got? It was a great night for a good cause. Tuesday at the Stress Factory Comedy Club in New Brunswick, I got up on stage to introduce Joe Piscopo, and my joke about the muffin joke got more laughs than the muffin joke itself. Welcome to the Stress Factory. We were supposed to have Governor Christie here, but he heard Chasing News was going to be here, and he heard that Bill City would be telling the muffin joke. <laughs> Maybe now, uh, you know, Bill, you realize it's time to actually retire the muffin joke? <sighs> I don't know. I'm so, going down with a fight. Yeah, no, no one's fighting for that joke right no now. No one's fighting with me, no. <laughs> Jersey Joe Piscopo was the MC for the evening. I want to be a part of it. NJ, NJ. <laughs> Comedian Jay Black really got the crowd yeah, going. Like voting Democrat in this country is like voting for a prostate exam from a doctor with cold hands and no lube. Oh. Voting Republican is like voting for a prostate exam from a doctor with plenty of lube, no arms. <laughs> my favorite joke, I'm sorry. I love it. Other than the muffin joke, we were talking about Jersey Joe Piscopo making a run for governor. I think that after watching Trump transition from whatever he was doing to president, I don't think that there's anything. You could be literally a mob boss and run for Senate. You know, what's your platform? I'm just gonna murder everybody I don't agree with. All right, elect them. I wanna pay the highest possible property tax. Joe is really passionate about working with the Boys and Girls Clubs in New Jersey. So check out the pipes from this 16-year-old girl, Allie Marks from Newark. That's kind of where I started singing, and that's like where I grew my love for performing. So the Boys and Girls Club really contributed a lot to that. It was fun. It was fun. The muffin joke doesn't go over that We all well. had fun. But uh, Ashley, Ashley was, was there. there. Allison, Allison and Kelly. Kelly was there. But overall, how did the crowd respond to you? I mean, I know you told more than the muffin joke, so were they laughing I did. I had a whole and set. clapping? And... I'll defer to Ashley and Allison on well, that. Well, we have been working on your comedic timing, because as we True. know, telling a joke is all about timing. And I will say that once we got past the muffin joke, with the, the dog one was a little long, but the, the timing on the punchline was good. So overall, I was impressed. I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10's not bad. There were laughs. Did you want to see what editors made for you? What is that? Really? <laughs> Oh, it says no, no muffin. Oh, wow. No muffin. Can, can you, can you promise us here on Chasing it's News? Hard. I am making no promises. <laughs> I'm making no promises. It's not dead yet. Not dead yet. Thanks.